नॉन एब्जॉर्बेबल सूचर मटेरियल इज ऑप्शन आर पोलिस्टर पोलिग्लाइक पैरो पोलिग्लाइकोलिक एसिड एंड पोलीलेक्टाइड राइट सो इफ यू जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सूचर मेटेरियल येस सूचर मेटेरियल क्लासिफिकेशन कैन बी आज इन यूर एग्जाम एज वेल एज दे कैन आस्क यू द डिफरेंट इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रांड नेम्स ऑल्सो सो यू शुड नो द बेसिक कंपोजिशन ऑफ द सूचर मेटेरियल एज वेल एज यू शुड नो देयर वेल नोन नेम द ब्रांड नेम्स वी कैन से राइट सो येस सो इफ यू जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सूचर मेटेरियल्स सो द सूचर मेटेरियल्स कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप येस एब्जॉर्बल absorbable and non absorbable now the absorbable will further be divided into two natural and synthetic same way we will be dividing the non absorbable also natural and synthetic now here comes the important part most of the time they'll be just asking you in exam the names of the sutures right so the suture materials so coming to the natural absorbable suture material we have cat cut we have collagen we have the cargyl membrane fascia lata and yes we have the kangaroo tendon kangaroo tent then coming to the synthetic one polyglycolic acid then we have uh, the polydiaxone and then polytrimethylene carbonate poly trimethylene carbonate and in these actually we have vicryl sergicryl polysorb and dexone in polyglycolic acid ones okay so yes you will have the names vicryl sergic sergicryl polysorb and the dexone in polydiaxone you have pds2 and in polytrimethylene carbonate you have maxone so these you have to remember sometimes they directly are these brand names here. then coming to the natural one in the non absorbable category we have silk linen and cotton that seems very obvious silk linen cotton so these basically form your clothes as well so these are threads of the cloth only then coming to the synthetic synthetic we have nylon then we have polypropylene poly propylene in which you have proline and sergiline so i'll just write the name proline and sergiline then you have the brady poly braided polyesters so braided polyesters is the key to our question here also there is polyester and uh, if we just see the products here so ethy bond and ethy flex then you have dacron so these are going to be from here so dacron then you have ethy bond then you have ethy flex and mercilin and all then you have polybusters the, that will be novafil so these are the various uh, synthetic sutures so here we are more interested in the braided polyester which is a part of synthetic non absorbable suture and that's what is asked in the question also non absorbable suture material is polyester and you got the correct answer to be the first option now we'll quickly walk through the key concepts so these are the various names which are shown here you can go through these and yes coming to the definitions of the absorbable so these suture materials are generally digested by the body enzymes or these are hydrolyzed by the tissue fluids and that's why these are uh, later uh, these are basically biodegradable and they can degrade it later right now we have the non absorbable now these cannot be digested by tissue enzymes and are encapsulated or walled off are non absorbable right then we have uh, two things coated or non coated so some sutures are generally coated by polyester sutures 
and uh, means uh, these are coated by a layer actually the capsular layer will be there and these are uh, one of the example is your polyester which is here and that belongs to the known absorbable category here so yes coming back to the question we have known absorbable switch material that is your polyester 